From the air, they looked like toys, scattered in zigzag formation along the desert floor. A violent and near tragic derailing that woke hundreds out of a deep sleep. As night falls in Omaha, the rescue teams have nearly completed the grim task of sifting through the wreckage of the worst rail disaster in the Soft ground almost buried the first locomotive and the other cars tumbled onto their sides. 88 passengers were aboard, 35 suffered minor injuries. Area residents were evacuated as chemicals from the derailed train burned out of control. Fire officials... And suddenly, the two engines and the next three cars were involved in a fiery mail. last five years. It could have been a lot worse when you consider this train could have collided with the southbound train passing by. The train jumped its track moments after crossing the Hackensack River. Now, passengers said it started to all of its tracks twice a week. Today, the sound has arrived and eventually moved this train. Well, not before the National Transportation Safety Board investigates a wreck that could easily have been deadly. I think it's flooded. No. I just think she's too young to be, you know, spending every waking moment with her boyfriend. Do you want me to try to talk to her? You know, there used to be a time when I could talk to her about anything. Max here. Chance! Your dad's here! Hey, Matt. See you here. Have a good day, honey. Can I have a kiss? Aww. Come on. See you at the game. As always. Say goodbye to John. Bye, John. Bye, John. Took care. You've been practicing your drills, uh, fundamentals for him? A little. Yeah. The team is only as strong as its weakest link. Yes, sir. I'm out of here. Have a good trip, Dad. Hey, Grace. Before you go, I, I just... I just think that you and Danny are spending too much time together. You, you, you Dad. never see any of your other friends. And it's, it's just not a good idea to be so serious, so young. Oh, you ought to know. You're the one who got married at 18 for the first time. All your dad's trying to say is... Oh, I think my dad can tell me what he means, Megan. Oh, gotta go. Jane? Bo, I'm in here. 
Hey, baby. Hey, how'd it go with your captain? Toughest cop in the department. It's only been a month. Things will settle down. Could you pass me the grated cheese from the fridge, please? Sure. The ultrasound. I forgot. Mm-hmm. Does everything look OK? Everything's fine. If you like boys. You're kidding. No. <laughs> Baby, they could tell that from the ultrasound? I didn't know they could tell so soon. There was evidence. <laughs> you could see? Definite conclusive evidence. We're going to have a son. Oh, baby. <laughs> Careful, man. This is cool. <laughs> OK, Wally, that's a lock. He's off the throttle a bit. The controls are a little touchy. What do we got? Well, we got two gondolas full of chemicals, another box of biomedical chemicals. <laughs> We're a rolling science project. I'm trying to teach you something here. Listen to me. Hey. Hey, Grace. Hey. Sorry I couldn't get a cab from the airport. That's OK. How was Dallas? Oh, it's good. What I miss? Oh, just Pat and berating the troops over there. Well, tomorrow night, I'll be sleeping in my own bed again. Yeah, that's right. You live in Denver, don't you? Yeah. Got two grandkids there to prove it. Two already? Yeah. Man, I got to start catching up. See you in the morning. I'll see you next Tuesday, guys. I just wish he didn't take it so hard. I'm going to take him climbing with me tomorrow. What do you think? Just the guys? I think that's a great idea. See if you can fry them apart. <sighs> so I'll throw some cold water on them. You need help with that? I got it. Where's Train Boy? He has a name. Whatever. It's nice of him to show up. Don't do that. What am I doing? I thought we were going to be friends here. Then act like a friend. Show some support for what we're trying to do here. Hey, let me grab that from you. I'm starved. Let's get that barbecue going. OK. Hey, Mac, you want to join us? Uh, I, I got plans now. Uh, chance? I'm gonna see you next week, right? Hi, Dad. Serial number, take it off the manifest. Okay, why? Because this isn't here. What's uh what's happening here? We're simply taking a very expensive crate of Russian caviar and slipping it into our regular cargo. And how would one normally ship caviar? All by itself. Heavily, expensively insured. Is your dad up to speed on this? Hey, get over it, Chuck. Dad's in Europe. 
Hey, I'm driving to Denver to take delivery, then I transfer it to the end user. The end user? Christmas bonuses will reflect the wisdom of this decision. Sign it. Stillwater straight through to Denver. Have a good one, Molly. So you'll, uh, you'll talk to Grace, right? Yes. It'll be fine. It just takes time. Well, it's been a year. Yeah, but she's 15. Hey, hey, come here. Don't I get a hug, huh? Try to have a good time, OK? As long as he doesn't play dad. We know that he's not your dad, but he's a good guy anyway, right? The only reason he's taking me is because of you. You might actually have a lot of fun, right? Hey, you ready? Mm. Mm. Hey! Relax, rookie. We're a big target. Yeah, a few years ago, that was me. Yeah, and it was me before you. back. Careful, kid. It all starts with a sweet little photograph. Next thing you know, you got two ex-wives, four kids, enough child support to pay off the national debt. Two. Ah, don't listen to him. I've been married 15 years. Nothing to it once you learn the two magic words. Yeah, what's that? Yes, dear. <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> like you mean it. Yes, yes dear. dear. Better. Mm -hmm. What's with the air pressure? Something wrong, Wally? Oh, man, I don't believe this. Hey, Tucker, check your gauges. Five bucks. See you again, Wally? Check your gauges. See you five, raise your buck. Hey, kid, go back and check that smoke gun. Yeah. Are we going to do that? I'll make sure you get 
No, I think we'll do something a little more tame. Yeah, because you're scared of heights. Who told you that? Mom. Well, I guess at one point that might have been true, but you know what? Since I took this up, it's not a problem for me. Besides, everybody gets scared. Come on, let's get ready. What's going on, Wally? If it ain't going out, I'm gonna hit it from the other side. What's going on? All right, the fire's out, but these hoses are shot, Wally. Damn. We're losing our brakes. There you go. Yeah, and pull it. There, you got it. It's your one-handed bowling. Okay? And it's a great trick, because you can tie it with just one hand. All right, you're ready. Hey, Tucker, you got a problem. Tell me you're kidding. Yeah, tell me it's not downhill all the way to Denver. Five minutes ahead of schedule. Jack, get him on the line. Yes, sir. Well, at least the line's clear ahead of him. Yeah, nothing for about 300 miles. What's the load? Looking for the manifest. Well, let's pray they're hauling carrots. <laughs> Woo! Hey! <laughs> What'd you think? Well? It was OK. You know, I know how hard this year's been for you. My dad left when I was young, so I know that it hurts. But I want this to work with us. And I'm not trying to be your dad, because you've got a father, and he loves you very, very much. But I love your mom, OK? She's my wife now. So I'd like it if, um, We can be friends. What's that? I'm sure it's nothing, but we got to go back to the truck and check. Come on. This is Denver Control. Repeat. I say repeat. This is eastbound freight 642 of Stillwater, Utah. I'm 300 miles out of Denver. I'm picking up speed. My brakes are gone and my dynamics will not hold. I have flammable chemicals and hazardous materials on board. I am out of control. Get in. Repeat, eastbound 642. I am out of control. We're not going to crash, are we? No. No way, kid. Honey, be careful. Excuse me. Hi. Uh, who's in charge around here? I am. Hi, I'm John Seeger. I'm with the NTSB. Hi. We've got a uh, railroad emergency in the area. Is there anyone around here who could fly the thing? Yeah, that'd be me. Hey, uh, it's us. Um, Listen, we've changed our rock climbing plans, and um, I'm going to need you to stay by the phone, all right? Until you hear from Chance or me. OK, bye. Thanks. Are we going to try and stop the runaway train? Uh, no, I don't think anything that dramatic. But since we're in the area, I want to have a look. But if you don't stop it, a lot of people might get killed. I'm sure the railroad's sending somebody out to take care of it. Well, you told the ranger it was an emergency. Come on, come on. This cargo sure changes the equation. We're not going to do anything radical till we hear back from the feds. We're standing by with sand, and the derailers are on the move. Great. And this could be a 
bad one. We got a runaway train with hazardous materials and chemicals heading towards Denver. Is there an ETA under on it? Not yet. But I want to flood manpower and containment equipment into the area as soon as possible. And I'm counting on those planes from Omaha beating me to Denver. Chance, you okay back there? You buckled in? Yeah. All right. Denver Railway Control. Denver Railway Control. This is Ed Brown, Denver Control. Who is this? This is John Seeger. I'm with the NTSB. Uh, I'm in a chopper chasing that runaway. What personnel do you have in route? Nobody. You're in. Uh, OK. Uh, what are we talking about in terms of cargo? They've got biomedical and flammable chemicals on board. All right. Uh, Anything running ahead of her? Not for 300 miles. What about behind? Looks like a mixed manifest about six miles back. Seeger, what are you suggesting? Well, if you had something, we could try to catch her, hook on, try to stop the damn thing. Unless you've got a better idea. Like you said, if you've got a better idea. OK, Seeger, there's a freight approaching about six miles back. Well, good. You have her drop her cars, have her open it up, and see if you can get a sand burn built in front of that runaway. Got it. Those uh, chemicals you're talking about, they're uh, pretty dangerous, are they? Very nasty stuff. If there's an explosion and it gets airborne, that'd be real bad. Red. Roger that, Freak 4920. You've dropped your cars and are now the chase train. There's clear track between you and the runaway. Got it. Seeger, that freight's maintaining speed so he can catch the runaway. Bring us down! I'll get you as close as I can, but the air's pretty unstable here. Chance, keep trying your mop! Are you planning on getting down there? I was hoping you could figure that out. Look, I got a rope ladder in the back you can hook up. I'll try to match the speed of the train and then uh, lower you down. Oh, well, that sounds easy. Wally, we got to go ahead to build a sand burn to try and slow you down. That couldn't hurt. Who is this cowboy chasing us? John Seeger investigates train wrecks. Now, we ain't a train wreck yet. Yeah, I can be done with this in about uh, 15 minutes. Over. You've only got 10 minutes. Oh, man, you're killing me here. We'll try. Look, we got to get him home to his mom somehow. OK, after we return to base, I'll get one of the Rangers to take him home. Great. What do you want me to tell mom? Tell her to pack up the camping gear, throw it in the 4x4 four four with some food and water, and head up to grandma's, just in case. You got family in Denver? Yeah. You might want to think about moving them out. Thanks. Look, you better get ready. Listen, uh, if I get killed, you could lose your license. What license? Got news crews in the air, and this thing's going to break any minute now. The feds are sending out some of their agency experts just to get a handle on the situation, but our main concern is order. When this is the local TV, the city's going to panic right now. We hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Excuse me. Just got word from railway control. Some local NTSB guys trying to stop the runaway. Well, keep me informed. What else? Well, we're going to see some heavy activity on the freeway. All right, I'll fly over, check it out. Listen, if there's any trouble, you find me. All right? And call all officers into active duty ASAP. You ready? Captain, I was born ready. I should say that when I flew these things. That's right, I heard you used to be a chopper jock. Why'd you quit? Wife read the insurance report, asked me. I'm not married. I'm not either.
train 4920. An NTSB agent is on helicopter approach. Maintain speed. He'll come to you. Coming up on the sand berm at mile marker 80. I see it. I brace yourself, kid. Chopper 1, we have located the runaway, and we are ready to begin transmission. The train below has just plowed through a mountain of sand that officials had hoped would slow the runaway train that is speeding towards Denver with its cargo of highly flammable chemicals. There is no word yet from government officials, but experts tell us that derailment... What's in that Russian crate? You're looking forward to prison? Look, at least give me the manifest so we can let them know what they're dealing with. Hey, we had a job to do. We did it. What did they expect? Keep building new nukes. Somebody's got to decommission all the old ones. Get nukes? What are you talking Look, about? do yourself a favor. Get a 1,000 miles from Denver as fast as possible. That crate, the Russian one, it's not caviar. Slowing from the sand is negligible. Damn. Then let's derail now and take our chances before we get too close to Denver. The best place to contain a derailment is here, Silver Gorge. If it gets past Jackson Summit, it's going right into town. Then let's do it. Seeger, back off. We're going to derail. With that cargo? Lesser of two evils. We can catch it. Just give us a few minutes. Not enough time, Seeger. We're attaching a derailer four minutes ahead of you. you. Can't catch up with them in three minutes. Hit your brakes and go full throttle reverse. Roger. Port on! Attention, Silver Gorge headquarters. This is Denver Control. It is a go for the derailleur at mile marker 145. Repeat, a go for the derailleur four minutes from the runaway's current position. Okay, put it right here. Tucker, they're gonna derail us at Silver Gorge. 
I got four minutes to stop this train, or we're going down with it. You stay put. What, what are we going to do? Well, I'm going to go back, check the hoses on the train line. No, I'll do it. I'll do no, it. No, you take over. Wally, be careful. Oh, Mama. Oh, Mama. How fast do you think we're going? Too fast! Way too fast! What the hell do we do now? This is Ed Brown. Who am I talking to? I work for a company called Bradshaw Disposal Systems. That train on TV, it's carrying a nuclear weapon in one of the boxcars. Look, Mr. Whoever you Listen are... Listen to me. The boxcar labeled flammable chemicals contains... A Russian-made nuclear weapon. It didn't sound like it. How many people even know Bradshaw Disposal? How many can ID a specific boxcar on the train? The derailment caused it to detonate. Get me somebody at the nuclear emergency search team. People, until Nest okays it, derailment is not an option. Radio the ground crew. Have them take that derailer off the track. Yes, sir. Let's go, hurry. That's okay, forget it. Go see if you can connect that hose. We've only got a couple of minutes. Freight 642, this is Ed. Freight 642. Wally, we're canceling the derailment. The crew's still on your track. Got that, Denver Control. And thanks. We better get up front. A nuclear bomb, Seeger. We can't derail and take that chance. You gotta stop that train. I hear you, Denver. We need more speed. We're in the red now. We're gonna shake apart. We don't have any choice. Let's do it. Put a nuclear bomb on my train.
As usual, you guys have your scientific heads buried in the forest. Give the mixed metaphor a rest, General. Gentlemen, when can we anticipate derailment, General? Mr. President, at the present rate, the train is almost certain to derail here at a place called Miller's Bend, a few miles to the west of Denver in less than two hours' time. The NEST containment team is already airborne and due to arrive in Denver in 30 minutes. How many crew are on the train? Five. NORAD is secure. Completely. Are we in direct contact with Denver Control? Yes. Nest has a man on his way there now as well. OK. The nuclear consequences. Savella. Sir, probably none. Probably. If there are nuclear weapons on board, they shouldn't detonate in the event of a collision. Shouldn't. Probably. Well, you wouldn't want to commit yourself so far on this one. Well, if it was ours, I could guarantee it. The problem is, this particular weapon may be Russian in origin. We don't know what design. It throws a huge X factor into the equation. You are not reassuring me. Well, let's find out what kind of a Russian bomb is on that train. Come on, people. Let's hope to God he can hook us up. You better run that by me again, Harlan. Are you seriously suggesting that we send a jet fighter out there and blow this train off the mountain? There are approximately two million people in the greater Denver area. We're not going to evacuate them all in time. A preventive strike is something we need to consider. Why use a scalpel when a chainsaw will do? Our research suggests an attack from the air would force the nuclear material into the ground, greatly minimizing blast and fallout. And irradiating the water supply of the western United States. And your solution is? We should deploy some sort of commando unit, land on the train. And do what? If the engineers are incapable of stopping it short of derailment, what would commandos do? Mr. President, we should at least get a fighter above target. We have very few options here. None are ideal. Let's not lose even one. All right. us. Um, listen, we, we've changed our rock climbing plans, and um, I'm going to need you to stay Mom? by the phone. Mom? In here. Right. Where's John? Right. On the train. Where's Grace? Grace, what's going on? We've got to pack up the 4 by 4 with food and water and go to Grandma's. Grandma's? The train's going to crash, and John can stop it. And we've got to get out of here. Chance, just slow down. What are you talking about? There's a runaway train, and John's trying to stop it. Mom, you should have seen it. It was so cool. What runaway? That one. The train may also be carrying a nuclear bomb. Oh we my repeat, God. in addition to its all deadly cargo, he's there. He's trying to stop it. Materials, the train may be carrying a nuclear bomb. KNFS is attempting to get confirmation of this unsubstantiated report. <laughs>
again! Go, cowboy. The guy's gonna get himself killed. Ed Brown? Yeah. Shout out Colonel Tom Levy, Nuclear Emergency Search Team. Oh, great. Uh, uh, Christina Roselli. Yeah. Uh, nice yeah. to meet you, man. When we found out there may be a bomb on board, we scrapped intentional derailment. Uh, you know much about trains, Colonel? They run on tracks, right? <sighs> on good days. All right, what do I need to know about Bradshaw Disposal Systems? It's a company with a government contract to handle hazardous material. It's also authorized to dismantle and decommission nuclear weapons. No weapons, however, are listed in the train manifest. What we're dealing with is contraband. It seems like the owner's son slipped the weapon on board to try to avoid a couple of thousand dollars in insurance. Where is John Henry Bradshaw? We don't know. Well, Mr. President, you may want to see this. The man in front is John Seeger of the NTSB. Apparently, he is attempting to hook the two trains and use the locomotives for brakes. Is that possible? Remotely. Then that's our first plan. Before we start firing rockets at civilians, we're going to give Mr. Seeger there a chance to stop that train. Tucker's dead? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. We lost a freight, man. We lost Tucker, too. Thanks. The couplers didn't hold. The freight's fallen back a half a mile. And? They lost a man. What about Seeger? He's aboard the runaway. Hey. Yeah? Have you been listening to the news? No, why? 
Come on. We need to pack a bag. We need to get out of here. What? Now, Charlotte, you need to head for home. Come on. What's happening? Go. What's going on? There's a train out of control coming down from the mountains, and it may be carrying a nuclear bomb. We need to get out of here. I don't want to be here when it crashes. Come on, Charlotte. I win. Good game. Thank you. That is my damn stepmom again. What is it? It's an emergency. My stepbrother and I worked out this code. We interrupt this program to bring you a special... Grace, where are you? News bulletin. Somewhere with someone. Never mind. We'll talk about that later. Right now, I need you home. Actually, Megan, I wasn't really calling for you. Is Chance there? Yes, and when you get home, we're all going to go to my mother's. Thanks, anyway, but you guys have fun. Grace! has learned that his name is John Seeger. He is an employee of the National Transportation Safety Board. He lives here in the Denver area. Incredible. Grace! Get back here now. All right, I'm on my way. This is John Seeger. Seeger, this is Lieutenant Colonel Tom Levy, Nuclear Emergency Search Team. We need your help. This bomb, if there is one, it's supposed to be in a boxcar marked flammable chemicals. We need verification. I'd like you to go inside that boxcar and tell me what you see. I'm on my way. Listen, if that freight gets close enough, our speeds are matched. Jump? Hey, crazy, I can't jump with this leg. Get a chance. Save yourselves. I don't know if we got enough room. Some units to Maine and Elm. Got civil disturbance at Maine and Elm. The city's falling apart. Where to, sir? Let's head over to Brookhurst. Gotta get my family safe. I thought you said... What? Well, I didn't know you had a family, sir, that's all. Yes, sir. Yes, I understand, sir, but it's my wife. She's pregnant. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. What is it? All officers in active duty, no exceptions. I'll be all right. The hell with that. You coming with me. Bo, we don't even know that anything's going to happen. Baby, you'll be safer at headquarters. I'm not leaving you here by yourself. Along the side of a bar. 
Colonel Levy from NEST is talking with Seeger. The hope is that he can assess exactly what type of bomb they're carrying and whether it's Russian. Russian designs. You've all heard of Space Station Mir? Our jet is approaching target. It's worth delaying a few minutes if it means getting accurate assessment of the device. General, let's be plain. If there is a bomb aboard, your plan will blow the train, the crew, and Mr. Seeger straight to hell. The closer that train gets to Denver, the greater the potential for mass civilian casualties. If there's going to be a blast, better we do it up in the mountains. Not yet, Harlan. Not yet. you up. Just stay there until we find you. Megan, please hurry. It's getting weird out here. Honey, you'll be fine. We're leaving right now. Okay? What do you see? Various crates. They look military, different sizes. Some of them have military insignias and numbers on them. Oh, read me some. U.S. Marine Corps X 0168 Old stuff, harmless, and uh, best of all, non nuclear. Ten feet 
feet long. Russian characters. You got a serial number, it looks like 667K92. Okay, repeat that serial number, 66. Yeah, I heard you. Uh, look that up and see what we got. Uh, great work, Seeger. You better get out of there and get someplace safe. Any ideas where that would be? Got someplace private I can go and call Washington. Go right outside the door. Christina Rosali. Ed. Denise on line three. Hi. Where are you guys now? Okay, now, as soon as you get to Topeka, give me a call, all right? Oh, you know I can't leave now. Yeah, I love you, too. Give Michael a hug. Despite John Seeger's remarkable efforts, the atomic train shows no sign of slowing. There's only one more uphill grade a few miles ahead. After that, there may be no possible way to stop this train. are disconnected. I couldn't get to them. I'm right there. I'll come back and see what I can do. We're coming up on Jackson Summit, the last bit of uphill before Denver. Maybe we can reduce the momentum. Yeah, if the grade is steep enough. Be careful. minutes to Jackson Summit, and then it's downhill all the way to Denver after that. We're almost there. The house is a couple blocks east. There's her car right there. It's a police helicopter. I think it's Dad. Chopper, come on. I can't. I've got to go get Grace. Megan, there's no time for that, all right? I'm getting the two of you out of here now. No, I just promised her. Meg, people are starting to panic, and it's going to get worse. So while your husband's off in the mountains playing hero, it's not going to be much help to you or Chance, is he? So come on, let's go. No, I'm not leaving Grace. Look, I'm just doing what John told me to do. He knows the situation. He's right in the middle of it. Attention all units. Heavy gunfire at Broadway and fourth officer. I gotta go. All right, you remember the cell number? We are watching scenes of chaos as more and more the people of Denver attempt to get loved ones as far away from the potential nuclear blast as possible. Scattered unrest and looting have been reported in several areas of the city. We now have this live address from Mayor Denise Pine. Citizens of Denver, I appeal to you to remain calm at this very difficult time. 
An orderly evacuation east is something we will achieve, but only if we work together. Federal and local authorities are working hard to avoid disaster and minimize any possible consequences in the event of a blast. The bomb may not detonate. The train is still many miles from Denver. We have time. It is imperative that we remain civil, courageous, and calm, and obey police and all duly constituted authorities. Thank you, and God bless you. Eddie, look. None! I'm gonna try to knock the electrical out! If we can get the slave offline, maybe the brakes will set up! I don't think it'll work, but give it a try. Well, I think we're running out of options, don't you? Yeah, you're right. Just don't get yourself fried. Thanks! Seeger, try and pull it when we hit Jackson Summit. That's the steepest grade. Just tell me when! Call Denver! Tell him what's up! That summit is our last chance. If the brakes on the follow locomotives lock while they're climbing the slope, even temporarily, it could bring them to a dead stop. And if not? That tight curve at Miller's Bend. If they crest the Continental Divide, they're going to derail in Miller's Bend for sure. Set your nest team up there. OK, freight 4920. You look to be catching up to the runaway. You're damn right I am. Well, back off. I don't want you following too closely in case she starts to slow down. If I can't stop her, I can at least get a few guys off of there. Look, I told you, back off. You hear me? Back off. I gotta try and save some lives. Don't be a hero. Back off. Jump! You gotta try! Tell my wife I love her. Is the National Guard on full alert? Yes, sir. Of this 667 series, what kind of nuclear weapon is it? It was developed at the height of the Cold War. The Russians made them fast, and they made them cheap. A weapon that old, it could be very unstable. How powerful a bomber are we talking about here? It could be worse. But this one is certainly strong enough to decimate a portion of Denver. Well, at least if it derails at Miller's Bend, That'll put a mountain range between it and Denver. If it detonates, that will help, God willing. <laughs> we buy Russian weapons to keep them out of the hands of the terrorists. Newsman Castillo, Federal Emergency Search Team. Your guys know the passageway to Miller's Bend, right? Yes, sir, we do. All right, let's roll. Come on, Sarge, she's pregnant. Kid, look at this place. She's not going to be safe here. Tom, get this to the desk, Sergeant. Besides, if we let in every cop's family... I'm not leaving her at home by herself, Sarge. I tell you what, you take her to my house. My wife and her mom are there. I'm supposed to report. I didn't see you yet. Ten minutes down the freeway. Go. Roger, Denver Tower. I'm there. Jefferson County Courthouse. They were evacuating a building. Got some sort of hostage situation. Let's go. Hey, Bo, change your plans. What's up? We're trying to route people onto Highway 61 since all the freeways are jammed. That's a two-lane road. It's an alternate eastbound road. Now, the problem is there's a car fire block in the road. Now, Highway Patrol has dispatched a unit where they passed us for backup. Let the sergeant know I'm taking Jane with me. No problem. Good luck, man. Thanks. 
Honey, I don't know if Baby, we're... look, no matter what happens from now on, we're doing this together. Okay? Let's go. Stay put. Yes, sir. Evacuating the building, middle of everything, that creep grabbed the gun, got one sheriff down, plus one civilian. We put him there to have options, not to force us into a decision. If you fire a missile at that train, the chances are you will have a nuclear disaster. If it derails, is it possible that the cargo might not detonate? It's possible. Well, gentlemen, since I have become president, I have yet to ask our military to turn weapons on our own citizens. And I'm going to try damn hard to keep it that way. Call back the fighter. I'm putting my bets on Seeger. Sir, Harlan, there's one subtlety of leadership you never quite seem to grasp. Just because we can blow something up doesn't mean we have to. How is he? Okay. Okay, move him out of here. shot. Hydraulic brakes on the slave locomotive must have locked. So it's stopping?
We got 45. What's that freight doing? Freight 4920, back off. I repeat. No. No! Here we go, 20. Brakes must have burned out from the force of impact. into Denver. All right, now's your chance, both of you. I ain't leaving yet. You gotta go before she gets up too much speed. I'm not leaving my train. Yeah, we're staying. You did great, kid. Get off while there's still time. You take care of me. to be heading for derailment at a place called Miller's Bend. With no way of stopping it now, it appears that a major on, catastrophe man. is all but certain. I'm on my way. We'll stay right here so that Ed, we can Christina. To bring you the latest. Thanks for your efforts. Thank you all. What are you saying? Go home. Be with your families. What's going to happen? Come on, tell us. What? Where should we go? We're hoping the bomb doesn't detonate on impact, but if the flames engulf it, you need to put something between yourselves and the blast, or get underground. Well, I've got to get to the crash site. Well, you heard what the man said. Come on, go. Everybody, go. Ed, what are you doing? I've still got four trains in this area. I gotta get rerouted while there's still some time. I'll be along. It'll get done a lot faster if we do it together. What about your family? Probably halfway to Kansas by now, anyway. Well, then let's get this job done, partner. The atomic train is gaining speed. It's going about 25 miles an hour. I can still see people aboard. We can only guess what they may be thinking. Wally. 
Wally, listen to me. There's nothing else we can do. You're not a captain. You don't go down with your ship. <laughs> I've been living on trains for 33 years. Give me a good reason why I shouldn't die on one. How about your grandkids? That's a pretty good reason. If you need any further help, use this direct line. Uh-huh. Bill, are Margaret and the kids with you? I think you should send them out of there. I'll say. Take care. It would be ideal if people were east of the detonation. The entire population of Denver migrating east? Come on, Spella, give us some practical advice. You want practical? Get everyone the hell out of there. Any direction, as long as they're moving away from Miller's Bend. Latest reports estimate the train will derail at Miller's Bend. Should there be a nuclear blast, you will have no warning. Shield your eyes, seek solid cover, or better Maybe that doesn't sound good. We have to make it. Again, latest oh reports my God. estimate the train will derail at Miller's Bend. <laughs> Do you think the highway patrol's here? Doesn't look like it. Come on. Continues. The atomic train races out of control in the Rockies, heading towards certain derailment at Miller's Bend in seven minutes. The site puts a mountain between the bomb and the citizens of Denver. In the meantime, the evacuation is by no means complete. I can't go on. Yes, you can. No, no, I gotta, I gotta no. stop. I can't move my leg. Come on, it's just two more blocks. You've got to. Let's go. Go on. Go! All right, I'm going to get Megan. We'll be back for you. Danny, we're coming back. Can't be much further, baby. Come on. Okay. This is the FAA. We are requiring all aircraft in the Denver area to immediately evacuate the airspace in anticipation of a nuclear blast. Immediate evacuation of all aircraft. There's uh, a lot of people out there who are depending on us for information. I'm willing to stay up here, but only if you guys are. I'm in. Steve? This is insane. 
insane. We'll never find them in time. Mom, two minutes. We've got to get underground. derailed its cargo of flammable chemicals and a highly unstable nuclear weapon. Once again, all citizens of Denver are advised to evacuate as soon as possible. Kelly Marks, KNFS News. Okay, guys, get in as close as you can. Keep an eye on your temperature without redlining your meters. And keep me posted. down there now. We need to locate that missile and get it out before the fire reaches it. Ugh. 
Can you walk? Uh, my ankle, I think, is busted. I don't think it's more than a couple miles to that crash site. Can you make that? No, but I'm going to anyway. Here, let me help you. No, I got it. <clears throat> hey, we're never going to make it unless you let me help you. Come on. Come on. <sighs> it looks like we're not going to have to walk after all. No, that information is being handled by the Nuclear Emergency Search Team. We're only dealing with uh, emergencies related to the rail system of the Greater Denver area. The integrity of the tracks is intact up to the crash site. Only emergency rail vehicles are authorized for use of these tracks. One minute. Ed, any word on Wally or Seeger? Not yet. All citizens are advised to evacuate the city immediately. The danger of nuclear explosion remains high. It is not known whether any of the men on the train are still alive at this time. John Seeger and two engineers are believed to have been aboard at the time of the derailment and may have been thrown into the fiery blaze that now rages through the entire... You get a cell phone I can borrow? Hello? Megan? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear? We're gonna go find Grace, and we're gonna get out of the city, okay? Jerk! Get this piece of crap out of here! I don't care, you're yeah. gonna die! Yeah. Move the car or What's die. going on? I'm trying to get this moron to move his car before we all get vaporized! Oh, what is the matter with you? Can't you see he doesn't understand you? Why don't you help him rather than threatening him? Adam, broken motor. Motor okay. broke. Okay, okay, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna put it in neutral and we're gonna give you a push, okay? Okay, his car's in neutral, you can just give him an easy push out to the street, all right? Yeah. Hey, look, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, we'll all get out of here if we just keep our cool. Yeah, well, uh, cool's in pretty short supply right now. Hey, what are, you, what, what are you doing? I'll turn this back I, there. Are you crazy? Yeah, you you got to turn this bus around. This is the number 85 bus. While the fire is surrounding the train wreck, buddy, continue take a look. Grow. What's going on? This is Kelly Mark, KNFS. 20 years I've been driving this route, never missed a day. What are you, idiot? There's a bomb up there, OK? Hey, get out of here. Get this bus moving. Get this bus is out of service. Get out of here. All right? Get out of here. Get out of here. Are you okay? Danny's hurt. He's a few blocks down Berta. We gotta go back and get him. Okay. Mom! Get out of the car, Come on! Hey, 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 open the door! Hey! Ah! Get out of the car! 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 Get out of the In Denver, relief has been replaced by panic as a million residents, still within range of the bomb, rush to evacuate. Although initial concerns that the bomb would detonate during the train crash proved unfounded, now the threat is even greater as the bomb is threatened by flames from burning hazardous chemicals. <laughs> You sure you can find your way back to your family? I'll find them. Take care. Don't worry about me, Seager. You talked me out of giving up once. Won't happen again. Bye.
John Seeger? Yeah. Colonel Tom Levy, Ned. This is Ruben Castillo. How can I help you? We got a hell of a wreck. Fire burning at both ends. Aerial fire units are on their way in now. We need you to help us locate that bomb. You're the only one who's seen it. You mind putting on a containment suit and coming down the side with us? There's no problem. We gotta get out of the city. Where are we going? We're gonna head east towards Kansas. Where's my dad? I don't know. The last I heard, the train had derailed and, and it was burning. So where is he? We just don't know. Chemicals are stable, but they could combine to be deadly at any time. There's the car. Looks like the missile's still in there. Can we get a crane up there? Yeah, we got two on the way. Good, we're gonna need them both. Any thoughts on how quickly this fire will spread? Well, the train's steel, so we're just talking about the chemicals. One of the choppers do. Any time. We put out a call for all available units west of the Rockies. One thing we're going to have to watch out for is the sodium metal. What's that? It's used to clean industrial pipeline. It's extremely poisonous and very unstable. The worst is it's highly flammable in the presence of water. You're kidding me, right? So far, the barrels haven't opened up, so we're good to go with the aerial drops. But if they start to leak, we've got to call the fire suppressors off immediately. The manifest shows the sodium metal containers are on the same car as the bomb. When is somebody going to start giving me the good news? Excuse me. Sure, we get these completely clear. Hey, what can you do to clear this road? Can't you push these vehicles off to the side? Not while it's burning. It's totally against regulations. In case you haven't noticed, regulations have been canceled. We've got to get these people through. Do you have any idea how dangerous it is to push a burning car off the road? That's nothing compared to the danger these people face if we don't get them out of here. Listen, the city is being evacuated. If I have to, I will come into your fire truck to do it. All right, guys, let's do what the man says. Jane, go get in the fire truck. What's the plan? I don't know. I'll let you know when I come Shut up with one, all right? There. Shut it down. We're out of here. Let's go. Who's the driver here? I am. Let's go. All right, listen up. Everybody get back into your cars and follow this fire truck. This is a direct order of the Denver Police Department. Nobody gets ahead of this vehicle. You're the head of this parade. You follow instructions, everything will be OK. Yes, sir. We're holding the speed at 40. Can't we go any faster? Not without Rex. 40 tops. If we keep order, we'll save lives. Yes, sir. All right, let's go. Let's push those cars out of the way, man.
do we know for certain? All we know is that fire has not yet reached the bomb. Are they getting all the help they need at the crash site? A call has gone out to all local agencies for help with aerial tankers. The catch is many chemicals react to water in volatile ways. They explode. Tell Hal I want to go in the air in 20 minutes. Yes, sir. And I want to talk to John Seeger. Right. done anything like this before you know those small cranes and the glass boxes at the family restaurants I once spent 12 bucks trying to win my daughter a 50 cent rabbit sound like the best qualifications here let's get into position take any chances in there five minutes I'll be in and out once the box car is secure, we're going to try to cut an opening and get you some help. I like hearing that. Just talk to us in the face mask. We can hear you on the walkie. Get you out of there now. Wait, 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 just wait. We gotta get you out of there. Oh, God. Don't take my legs. John, come on, buddy. Talk to me. Ah, stop, stop. <laughs> We gotta go now. We gotta get you out of there. And yet! Ah! Come on, buddy. I can't free! All right, get him out of there now!
Convention, all available aircraft with firefighting capabilities are asked to report to the Denver Airport staging area for further instructions. You here? Yeah. We good to go? Yeah. You get the rotor going, I'm gonna hook up the fire bucket. All right. Mr. Seeger, it's the president. The railroad? Of the United States. Hello, sir. Hello, Mr. Seeger. First of all, I want to thank you for your help in this uh, <clears throat> situation. I can imagine things are pretty tense out there. Yes, sir. Mr. Seeger, some of my people are insisting that we can extract the bomb and defuse it elsewhere. You're there. With all due respect, sir, no. Please, tell them that there is no way. I see. Well, Dr. Savella here at the White House will be in touch with you shortly to plan the next step. Obviously, I don't know how all this will end, but uh, I thought it was important that you and I spoke. Mr. Seeger, I understand you have family in Denver. If there's any consolation, I can tell you that Denver has been under evacuation for some time. Thank you, sir. No, no, thank you. Goodbye, and uh, good luck. We're ready to broadcast, sir. My fellow Americans, as most of you know by now, we are in the midst of a national crisis. A train carrying flammable chemicals and a Russian-designed atomic bomb derailed this afternoon near Denver, Colorado. As I speak to you now, your government is doing everything in its power to bring the situation under control. I'm confident that we will succeed. The situation however, is still very dangerous. And after consulting the mayor of Denver and the governor of Colorado, I have declared the state of Colorado a disaster area, and Denver and the surrounding areas are being evacuated. We ask for your cooperation with emergency evacuation procedures. To all Americans, especially those in the states surrounding Colorado, I ask that you open your hearts and your homes to any refugees from Denver. And let me take this opportunity to say to the people of Denver that all of us send you our thoughts, our hopes, and our prayers during this troubled time. Thank you. No, no, absolutely not. That crate cannot be moved. The only option is to get in there and defuse that bomb right where it sits. We've scrambled the team out of Pueblo, but the ETA is at least 45 minutes. Well, that's too long. You've got to get somebody here now. Unfortunately, it's the only plan we've got. Look, five minutes ago, it was so hot in that car, I thought it was going to melt my suit. John. So every second that we wait for your team to get John. here. John. Just a minute. I can disarm it with my eyes closed. If that missile goes, we're all going with it. I can do it, and I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna do it alone. I gotta suit up. We're gonna take care of it here. That is not how we are doing things here in Kansas. I asked for these planes to be moved an hour ago. And remind Lars, we need another 500 cots, and MREs are short, by 5,000 at least. People, in an hour, we are going to have our first wave of refugees here from Denver. If there is no blast, and that's the end of it, we can thank God. But if there is a blast, thousands of wounded and weary people will be arriving here all night long. I want our neighbors to feel like they have arrived someplace safe and comfortable. Let's go.
I wish there was something I could do. It's not a train wreck anymore. Go home. Find your family. You're seeing images from the crash site where the situation is now so volatile that no one can safely approach the area. And yet one U.S. official, Ruben Castillo, has bravely volunteered to go back into the area and disarm the bomb. Our prayers are with him. I'm Kelly Marks, KNFS News. Okay, you got that? Uh, wait here. Mr. Seeger. Would, uh, would you mind giving an interview? You know, if you give me a ride to town, you got it. It's a deal. Let's go. Thanks for all you did. Yeah, Mackenzie. Mac, hi. It's me. I I've got the kids, but we're stuck in gridlock. We really need your help. Where are you? I I'm on Boulder, right near Maine. OK, listen, get off Boulder and go west. OK, you're only four or five blocks from Creekside Park. There's nobody heading in that direction. I'll meet you there. OK, thanks. I really appreciate your help. Hey, I want to help. OK, we'll be there. Keep it at 40, man. You hear those cars honking behind us? Why should I? Because I'm a police officer and I'm asking you nicely. Please, just do it. I guess not. John, how did you feel hanging between speeding cars trying to engage the brakes on the train? Scared. Then how did you do it? Oh, well, I didn't have any choice. There was no one else there. In the final moments when you realized the train was going over, what were you thinking about? My family and how much I love them. Turn that off, please. Yeah, of course. Isn't that the park? Well, yeah, but the entrance is on the other side.
again. Okay, I got about two minutes left in this thing. We're gonna have to take your car. We can get gas anywhere. It just feels a lot harder. Let's go. I'll drive. Okay, but we're going to my mom's. First, we gotta get gas. Then we can talk about our plan. Will it blow? The terrifying threat that the bomb may still go off increases as the atomic train's flaming wreckage hinders efforts to defuse the bomb. High altitude surveillance reveals a grim picture of twisted burning rail cars. And somewhere within, the contraband Soviet bomb smuggled onto the train allegedly by Henry Bradshaw, an employee of Bradshaw Disposal. His whereabouts are unknown. In the meantime, the world holds its breath hoping for a miracle. Scoop water there and head to the crash site. They said we're supposed to fly into Denver first for further instructions. Yeah, well, uh, Miller spends in between here and Denver. Those guys are in trouble. I'm heading straight for the fire. Ruben, talk to me. I'm at the opening. I'm going in. All right, buddy, we're with you. Here. Megan, if we run out of gas now, we're never gonna get out of the city alive. Let's not look for a fight. I don't look. I don't look away either. Keep your eye open. Spot opens up, take it. Who's in charge here? Who wants to know? Captain McKenzie, Denver PD. I got a vehicle here that needs gas, and by the looks of things, so do all these people. 20 bucks a gallon, get in line. Maybe you didn't hear me. I said I'm captain. I don't care if you're Captain Kangaroo. You want gas, get in line. Is there a problem here, Sergeant? Sergeant? That's right, Sergeant. Colorado Free People's Militia. Look, pal, you know, I hate to break this to you, but you're not a sergeant in any army, okay? You're a guy who runs a gas station. Now, if you and your friends want to get together and play dress up and make believe, that's your business. But you're price gouging and you're hindering a police emergency. Yeah? You've got a loaded shotgun pointed right at your face. Now, which one of us is playing make believe? Now, you're now in the custody of the Colorado Free People's Militia. Surrender your firearm. Oh, no. Willie, disarm the man. Don't try it, Willie. Mom, do something. I'm going to turn around now and walk back to my family. If you want to shoot a man in the back, that's your decision. 
Sergeant. You halt in the name of the Free People's Militia. You halt! Mom! It's all right. He's gonna be fine. He's gonna Dad, be fine. Are you insane? It wasn't my fault, all right? They pulled first and you saw that. But they're living. Yeah, not when it comes to protecting Mom, my family. You almost Mom. got your family shot. Mom! Megan, please. Mom! Your cell phone's Oh, me. oh my God. Hello? It's me. John! It's John! Daddy! Where are you? How are the kids? We're all together. We're okay. Where are you? I'm at a chopper. I'm just headed into the city. Where are you? Where are we? Uh, we're on Arapaho, heading towards the freeway. <laughs> okay, we're on Arapaho. We're headed towards the freeway. We're, we're in a painted camouflage 4x4 back with us. All right, we need to find a place to meet. Where can we meet, John? Uh, tell them Pecos, the on-ramp near Pecos and 3rd in about three minutes. Okay, can you meet us at the on-ramp at, at Pecos and 3rd? Can you be there in three minutes? I'll be there at 2. It's so good to hear your voice. Hurry, okay? I love you. I love you too. John? John? He's okay. <laughs> I've never seen one this old. That good or bad? But we're about to find out. Up Hang on, Ruben. More choppers are incoming now. Look, I'm not gonna make it much longer. Just have them drop right on me. Roger that. This is Nest Team Commander to Air Traffic Control.
Camouflage truck. They're not here. Get through the freeway shut down. We got the whole block cordoned off. But we have to meet John. Oh, we gotta get out of the city. Thank you for the ride. I think we should thank you. I think we've done what we can do here. Electromagnetic pulse. Oh, God, have mercy.
Just moments ago, at 5.56 Mountain Time, an atomic bomb detonated near Denver, Colorado. A runaway freight train carrying the contraband bomb derailed earlier this afternoon. Federal officials struggled to control the resulting fire, but apparently their efforts failed. Again, a portion of Denver has been completely decimated by a nuclear blast. Are there any casualty figures yet? Not yet. Satellites show massive destruction. What impact does their weather have on the radiation? Rain will drive the radiation deeper into the ground, causing a much more catastrophic environmental disaster. But above ground, I assume the radiation levels will be lessened. With the rain, those who evacuate within 24 hours could have a higher chance of survival, yes. All right, then. We've got to continue our efforts to do everything we can to get those people out of there. Are we able to broadcast to the city, give them some hope? Sir, that's not going to be possible. The electromagnetic pulse has wiped out Denver's ability to see and hear us. Even vehicles controlled by computer chips will be immobilized. For now, the people of Denver are cut off from the rest of the world. here in the blood. It's a head wound. You just keep the pressure on it, all right? OK, we're going to have to get him out of here. Right. Danny, did you look at the blast? No. OK, OK. Get the car. OK, I got you. OK, OK, I got you. Okay, I got you. We can't get this thing started. We're not going anywhere. Daddy! Hey, it's OK. We're alive. And we're together. I just, I just, I just need a minute to think of what to do next. As those still alive in the city struggle to get out, and officials try to determine when it will be safe to send rescue workers into the city. Now, Keep the with Spella, will you? Management agency has set up massive temporary housing for evacuees at several sites, including this one at the Colorado-Kansas border. The civilians here now left Denver hours before the blast. Any hope of returning evaporated in a blinding flash at 5.56 p.m. Yeah. We gotta keep moving. Yeah, he's fading. The military doctors are bound to be here soon. Nobody's coming, Meg. John, can I talk to you a second? This idea of yours about the freeway is not gonna work. Okay, it's gonna be a graveyard. I think our best bet is to stick to surface streets. Well, you want to take surface streets all the way to Kansas? And keep walking east, all right, until we can flag a car. That kid is not going to make that. Why don't we split up? I'll take chance, and you can uh, stay with Danny. I'll bring back help. You'll bring back help? I can organize a couple of... Look around you. 
Who are you going to organize? Hey, what's going on? Trying to get us out of here. None of these cars will work. Why not? Because the electromagnetic pulse knocks out stuff like computer chips. Then we're going to have to find an old car. Listen up. I'm gonna head up to the Shattuck mine and try and take one of the tunnels straight through the mountain to I-70. All right, we can all meet up at the refugee camp at Eminence, right on the Kansas border. You got that? Chance, hop on. Mac, no. Megan, don't be stupid. You're not splitting us up. I'm not trying to break up your family, Megan. I'm trying to save our son. Listen, there's enough room on here for both of you. No! I Just, I, there's enough room. Absolutely I, not. Hey, hey, hey. Look, Mac. Why don't you take both the kids? Look, we don't know how long we're gonna be here. We should get them out before the fallout. Okay, honey. Be a good boy, okay? You can go with Mac. Okay? No, I'm not gonna just he's leave him here. Stay here with him until we get some help. You're just gonna have to trust yeah, me. No. Listen to me. We'll all be together at the camp. That's the way it's gonna be. No, I will. I guard him with my life. Great! Hey. Be safe. Uh, honey, we'll find you, okay? We'll see you soon. Live. As nuclear night grips Denver, information is sketchy. Communications have been virtually wiped out by a powerful electromagnetic pulse. These shots from more than 50 miles away suggest the scope of the disaster, as those still alive struggle to get out. In outlying areas shielded by mountains, evacuees may have fared better. However, at this time, no victims have made it to safety. Oh, I'm scared. What's going to happen? We're OK. I don't know. Jane. Jane. We're going to be OK. Come on. 
we just got to keep moving towards I-70 and away from ground zero back there. The electrical system is completely fried. So is mine. What do you want to do? We're going to keep going until we connect with the freeway and get help. The freeway? I was taking us to the freeway. If we'd been driving faster, we would have made it there before the blast hit. Well, now what do you want to do? You want it to lead, lead. All right, folks, listen up. Listen up, folks. Bo, use the truck. Get on the truck. All right. Listen up, folks. Quiet down. OK, we're not going to be able to drive any further, but what we can do is walk. Come on, we'll just keep walking. We'll all walk together. And we'll just move forward. Sooner or later, we'll get to the freeway. Those of you who want to stay, that's fine. We'll send somebody with help as soon as we can. Let's go. Come on. It's time to walk. Jane. Yeah. Are they following us? Yeah. Honey, honey. Go. Okay, okay. Hey! Stop! Oh, hey, stop! Hey, stop! Hey, stop! Honey, you got it? <laughs> I got a boy who's very badly hurt. We're completely full. I'm sorry. Oh, please. He's going to die if he doesn't get help. you got to make some room. Hey, hurry. Where are you headed? Out of here. Back up, please. Can you get me back up? Uh, Please, thanks. Just, just back up a little okay. bit more. Oh, uh, yeah. Come on, we have to keep moving. Okay, all right. All right. John, I can't leave him. Are you sure? Yeah, come with us. Just, just a minute, just a minute. I should try to follow the kids. I gotta follow Mac and Jeff. <laughs>
For another hour. Trying to find I-70. You're gonna find it this way. We live up the road. Bridge collapsed in the blast. It's a 400 foot drop, sheer, no way around. There's no way forward, no way back. We'll die in Denver. We're gonna die out here. I wish I could tell where we are by the stars, but I can't. Hey. Oh. All right. I-70 is due north of here. If we just walk north, we'll get there. Through the woods? You got a better idea? Through the woods is good. All right. It can't be that far, all right? It's just a couple of miles, folks. Come on. You ready? You heard the man. Let's go. Are we going in there? Watch. Could you help me out there? I'm gonna need 
Mason. Grace, we're gonna need some help. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, son. Grace is coming back with some help. It's gonna be all right. Okay, Dad. Thank you, Prime Minister. Your prayers are needed. Thank you, I will. General. The evacuation has saved hundreds of thousands of lives. What about aid? The refugee camps are going up, but it's still not advisable to bring personnel into the city. It's just too hot in there. Have we found Henry Bradshaw yet? No, sir. Wind shifting east 12 knots. Radiation 600 rads at two miles. Please, try not to worry. If he's here, we'll find him, right? Attention. All nurses to registration, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have All to go. nurses to registration, please. Well, we made it. Thanks to you. I got you. about you, son. What? You stick with something until you get it right. I do? Yeah, sure. Like skateboarding? Remember when you were six? On the sidewalk? 
I was watching from inside. He kept falling. Bam! He kept, he kept breaking your little butt. <laughs> and she kept trying. She finally got off that curve. You did. You came inside. Your knees were all bloody. And your mom was fussing all over you. And she didn't mind. Because you'd gotten it right, son. You got it right. That's what I love. I'm so proud of you. I love you, Daddy. Oh, I know. <coughs> Hold on there. Hold on. Grace? Daddy! Grace! Daddy! What? Max hurt! What? Where's Chad? He's, he's hanging, he's on a ladder. We need a rope or something, help me. Where are they? Come on, we don't have time! Okay, I got it. Let's get Chance off the ladder. Can you get up past those broken rungs? No! Try again, son. Keep going. Don't give up, Chance. Be careful. Watch it! Be careful, Chance! Mac, can you throw him the line? Our chance to you climb, climb down to your dad. All right, see if you can throw it over one of the good rungs. You gotta try again, son. Good. You got it? Yes. Chance, I want you to tie our knot. I know. One handed pull my knot. Over, over, under turtle. He knows. <laughs> now drop the other end to me. John, you okay? I got you.
Keep going! Grab my hand. I got my hand. Get him! I'm sorry. Let's go find your mom. Oh, we need a doctor here, please. Hurry, please. We drove all night. We just got here from Denver. How long ago did he get in? About eight hours. I tried to keep pressure on the wound. Nancy, could you come over here right away? Any other injuries? He hurt his leg in a car accident. Let's get an IV here. He's lost a lot. Danny, I'm right here. His airway's stable. He's breathing. Let's get a pressure. Is he going to be OK? Please step back. Let's get that IV in. One liter, 16 gauge, full out. He's hypovolemic and he's tachycardic. Let's run some blood as well. Two units O negative. What's that head wound doing, Nance? It's still losing. Let's get some sutures in that. He's gonna need about 20 sutures. I don't think he has any injuries. So is he gonna be all right? He's lost a lot of blood. We're hanging some blood right now. He's stable. We'll have to wait and see. You need to leave. We have got to have room to work. It's gonna be okay. It's all right. Excuse me. Excuse me, can I help you? Is this Eminence, Kansas? Yes. It's the only refugee center where the I-70 meets the border? It's correct. And that's the main gate? Why don't you just go on inside? I'm sure whoever you're waiting for... Thanks will... anyway. from the blast. Our little family's gonna be just fine. Warm enough? Yes. How are you? In love? Still, huh? this hour, fires continue to burn. 
as National Guard and rescue workers begin the arduous task of... We are now going to go to the White House as the president prepares to address the nation. The horror we have witnessed today in Denver makes us realize more than ever that in God's eyes, we are little more than children playing with matches. Perhaps the greatest danger we human beings have ever faced is our own genius for invention. Inventions of such awesome power that they seem to take on lives of their own. All we can hope is that we find the wisdom to learn from our mistakes and increase our vigilance to protect ourselves from ourselves. I call on all Americans at this time to pull together, to gather strength and focus on the task at hand, to start anew, to be reborn, to rebuild. And may God help us all. Megan, thanks for taking care of him. That's what families do, honey. Hey, 